Here I've got a nice witch's larger problem involving two power towers. One that contains n plus one total threes. So we have like three to the three to the three n plus one times. And the other number contains n total fours. So we have four to the four to the four, so on and so forth, n total times. So like I said, we want to determine which one of these numbers is larger. And we'll do this with a technique which can generalize to an entire family of problems like this. And we'll point that out kind of at the end. And I'll leave you with a homework problem to compare two numbers that really cannot be compared with the method which we will um, come up with here. So it'll be a little bit of a challenge. Okay, so in order to do this, I'm going to introduce some notation. So I'll write each of these numbers as elements of a recursive sequence. So let's make the following definitions. So I'll say xn is equal to this 3 to the 3, so on and so forth, n plus 1 total time. So let's just put n plus 1 here. And then let's say that y sub n is equal to 4 to the 4, so on and so forth, n total time. So we're going to call that y sub n, like I said. But let's notice that this can equivalently be defined in terms of a recursive sequence as x1 will be equal to 3 to the 3, which is 27. And then y sub 1 will be equal to just one copy of 4, which is 4. And then we have x sub n plus 1 will be 3 to the power x sub n, and y to the n plus 1 will be 4 to the power y sub n. So let's immediately notice that x sub 1 is quite a bit bigger than y sub 1. I mean, maybe we would like to explore a little bit to see what's going on for other small numbers of n so that we can get a guess before we jump into our solution. So let's see x sub 2, well, so that's going to be equal to 3 to the x sub 1, so that's 3 to the 27. And then y sub 2 will be equal to 4 to the 4. But let's notice that 4 to the 4 is just 64, whereas 3 to the 27, well, that's much bigger than 64. So this is going to be bigger than 2 to the 9. And so that's because the base is bigger and the exponent is bigger. But let's notice that 2 to the 9 is 128. But notice that 128 is 2 times 64. So putting this all together, we see that x2 is larger than 2 times y2. Furthermore, over here, we see that x1 is also larger than 2 times y1. So it looks like, in general, that we might have xn is larger than 2 times yn. And so not only is xn bigger than yn, but it's bigger than twice yn. And we're actually going to take advantage of the fact that it seems to be bigger than twice yn, because that'll make our solution a little bit better. Okay, so now let's get into our claim, which will solve this problem, and that is for all natural numbers n, um, we have x sub n is bigger than 2 times y sub n. So notice if we can prove this, then we have the inequality that this power tower of 3's is bigger than this power tower of 4's. So how might we go proving this? Well, since this is an indexed statement, we probably want to prove it with something like induction. So notice our base case is taken care of. In fact, we've done two base cases. We've done the n equals 1 and the n equals 2 case. So maybe that tells us we should just move on to the induction step. So let's make an induction hypothesis. So let's suppose we have some k bigger than or equal to 1 such that we know x to the k is bigger than 2 times y to the k. But now let's consider the next case. So we'll consider the k plus first case. So we have x to the k plus 1. But by our recursion over here, we see that that's equal to 3 times x to the k. But now that's going to be bigger than 3 to the 2 times y to the k because of our induction hypothesis. But that's equal to 9 to the y sub k, just by exponent rules there. 
Okay, but now let's notice that nine is bigger than two times four. So this is where we wanna get that into this. So this is the point where we notice that nine is bigger than two times four, and we start building the inequality like in general. So let's notice that this is the same thing as nine over four to the y sub k times four to the y sub k. But again, nine over four is bigger than two. Two to y sub k is bigger than two. And then we have four to the y sub k, but four to the y sub k is y sub k plus one. So this is gonna be bigger than two times y, y sub k plus one. And then looking at this extreme left, and right hand side, we see that we have finished our induction step. Okay, so let's see maybe why this works, as well as some similar inequalities that could be proven using this strategy. So all of this comes down to the fact that three squared is bigger than two times four. So here we have the base squared over here on the left hand side is bigger than twice the base on the right hand side. And this is, of course, in the special case where we have n plus 1 total things in the power tower on the left, but only n total things in the power tower on the right. So that means we can apply this to other problems, like, for example, 4 to the 4 all the way up will be bigger than 5 to the 5 all the way up. And this is, of course, like I said, where we have n plus 1 here and n here. And this is going to follow uh, pretty much the same way. And this follows because 4 squared is bigger than 2 times 5. But notice 4 squared is 16. And 16 is not just bigger than 2 times 5. It's bigger than 2 times 6 and 2 times 7. So this can actually be extended here to show that 4 to the 4 all the way up is bigger than 7 to the 7 all the way up. Where, like we've had this whole time, we have n plus 1 guys here and n guys here. So we should be able to adapt this solution strategy to prove this identity down here. So maybe if you want to, you can work out all of the details to make sure this works. Maybe post in the comments if it works, as well as maybe some other examples that you come up with and some like general shape of the distance between these two numbers if such thing exists. Now, the interesting thing here is that this type of strategy, strategy does not quite work if we go backwards. And that is if we compare 2 to the 2 all the way up 2 versus 3 to the 3 all the way up 3. Where here, again, we have n plus 1 2s and n total 3s. So notice 2 squared is equal to 4, but 4 is not bigger than 2 times 3, so we cannot apply this strategy to figuring out which one of those is larger. And so maybe this would make a nice homework problem to figure out which one of these is larger, and what strategy do we need to use to prove that inequality? Okay, that's a good place to stop.